It was a really fun night in Trojan Arena. I thought we had a really good crowd. Uh, the players played to the crowd and to the energy in here. Our 54 press, our man-to-man -man press was working really well. We created a lot of turnovers and got a lot of energy from that. But where I really think we got started off on the right foot was with rebounding. We came in the game and people um, were just just rebounding and rebounding like like Troy basketball, like we try to do. And so we built more and more momentum and more energy. Um, our guards that started the game, uh, Tia Johnson and Janai Sandifer, you just really can't ask for more than that. They were playing defense, they were going to get big rebounds, and they were scoring. So they did a great job. Um, and just all the way around, uh, Alexis died with another double-double. Felmus came in and made some pretty impressive moves and shots. So it was just a fun night. I think our um, offense mostly comes from our defense on them because if we let them come and just, just walk the ball up the court and get the ball, un, you know, their, their post players are very strong and they're bigger than us. And so, and, and you know, that's something we're going to need to work on for tomorrow is they were able to score when they got the ball around the goal. So our urgency to not let them walk the ball up and get it into their post players really helps create our defense turnovers and the aggressiveness and then just momentum follows. Well, this was uh, Coach Jennifer Graff's scout again, and so she uh, she just really sold the team on the fact that if they were aggressive enough on the press and we got the back people rotating up after the trap was made, that we could keep them out of their offensive rhythm. And it really worked better than we thought. We created more turnovers than we thought, and we scored. I think we had 26 points off of turnovers at halftime, and that might be a record within itself. It's all in timing and it's all in the night. Like, you know, we didn't do anything different this week coaching the press than we normally did, but they just got their timing going. You know, we call it like if, if one player moves, you got to have a string on the next player's foot to, to move as well. And tonight they were just in sync with that string on the foot theory. And every time one moved, the next one moved, which pulled the next one, and it really worked out well. As a team, you've got 21 of 22 from the free throw line this year, the best team percentage since um, going 15 of 15 in 2016. Really, this whole season, the team's been. Well, thank you, because that's a, that's a big uh, compliment that we're shooting well from the free throw line, and they did a great job tonight, and that is a big part of our game because we're so aggressive in transition, trying to attack on, in transition offense. So when you attack as hard as we did tonight, um, you're going to get some fouls. And so, you know, it's, it's a moot point if you don't step to the free throw line and make it. In fact, it works the other way. It slows the momentum down. So we were very thankful they got up, and I, th I think shot 95% from the free throw line tonight, which really helped keep the momentum going. Thank you. Go Trojans. We're here with Tia Johnson. Tia had a great game, scored 23 points, a uh, game high. Uh, can I talk about what went so right for you um, early on and then throughout the game? Uh, just attacking baseline and getting to the rack and finding shooters when there was open. Uh, you were 6 of 7 from the free throw line. As a team, you guys shot 95%. It was uh, the team high since uh, 2016. What, uh, what does that allow you guys to achieve such a high percentage all season from your free throw line? We got in the gym as a team, and we just keep shooting free throws until we like got our percentage wise. Uh, big first quarter. Uh, you guys really survived the hate fire, and I also wonder is um, the most points scored in the first quarter um, in program history. Talk about um, kind of what the game plan was coming in, and kind of like what you guys were able to do. We got a lot of guys that just kind of uh, right off right off the gate. We were just trying to score, 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 get 120. That was our goal. We were here with uh, Julia Dunlap. Julia had a great, great game, 13 points, 7 rebounds, 2 steals, 3 steals, 3 blocks. Uh, can I talk about uh, what went so right for you to have such a great game? Uh, first, I want to thank my coaches because this whole week they made it important for me to overcome the shot that I missed or overcome anything that's bad that's happening in the game and just think positive of the next thing to happen next. And I just did that and everything just came to me.
as a team, you guys shot 95%, 21 of 22 from the free, uh, free throw line, uh, best shooting percentage of the other team. What have you guys been working on in practice that's really allowed you as a, as a whole to have such a great, um, a great last couple of games from the free throw line? Just playing basketball, finding an open man, running in transition is one of the key things that we do as a team. So we just push it and find an open man and get a bucket. Uh, big first quarter, you guys scored the most points in program history in that first quarter. Kind of talk about what the game plan was like coming in that uh, allowed you to, uh, to really come out and shoot the lights out right away. Well, uh, uh, the, biggest, the big speech that we had uh, before a game was basically this team was coming in and gunning for us because of what happened last year. So. We had to suit up and be ready as soon as the buzzer go on, go off and when they go off at the end of the game. So we did that, and then we got a victory. Great game. Great game. Thank you so much. Thank you.